them in a day in May. Hello, and this is part two of what's new with hydrogen because there's a lot going on with it. And as my new aerospace engineer friend Misha Pollock over at Drunk Tech Review joked to me today, hydrogen usually comes in twos. <laughs> H2, science humor. Hydrogen. <laughs> but really, check out Misha and his show, DTR. I just learned about it. He's super smart and entertaining. So what is new? Well, hydrogen fuel cells are blowing up in the news, but hopefully not anywhere else. Get it? Blowing up. I've got science jokes for days. <laughs> ah. Just a couple days ago, UPS announced that they were testing a new hydrogen fuel cell delivery truck. Pretty neat, UPS. I also found in the news from January an article describing an 80-year quest to turn hydrogen into metal and that a Harvard University team might have discovered the secret to doing it. Metallic hydrogen is thought to be a superconductor, so hypothetically if scientists could crack the code to creating metallic hydrogen, it would conduct electricity without resistance. Then in March, a study was released stating that the element argon, which was thought to be a helpful key in creating metallic hydrogen, they basically said in the article it wasn't. It was pretty interesting to find because not all scientific studies can be these crazy breakthroughs and a lot of times they're just simply contributing to a larger body of research that lasts decades, whether it's hydrogen fuel cells or metallic hydrogen. So it was kind of neat to come across an article saying, well, we thought this theoretically, but we disproved that hypothesis experimentally. And on that note, just a note to my viewers, a lot of these videos, they're silly, they're short, they're sweet, hopefully. And there's not always a lot of scientific information in there, but I'm really hoping that it inspires you to go out and kind of check out what's going on in the science world. And so maybe I talk about metallic hydrogen and you think, oh, that sounds pretty cool. And then you go on Google Scholar or Science Magazine and you kind of check out what's happening. So I hope these videos inspire you to do that. I keep watching tomorrow we have a girl who is uh, way smarter than me. Her name is Crystal Dilworth. She's at Caltech and she's going to be filming a video from the Geological Sciences Gem Room at Caltech for Silicon. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a really great weekend. Element a